Welcome to an Edible London growing space. My name is Sonny, founder and CEO of Edible London. Edible London is a grassroots organisation whose focus is about growing food in a regenerative way and tackling food poverty. So a lot of the work we do is about repurposing surplus, sourcing where there is an abundance of food waste. As you can see, like, if you're looking at this stuff, you know, some of it, you're never going to eat it, right? It's mouldy, but that doesn't mean the whole box is ruined. But in the typical way industry works, this is all going to get thrown away. And trying to get in there, get access to this food, quality triage it, and what can't go out to our beneficiaries to be eaten can go to our compost heaps. That's what food waste creates. Beautiful growing media. And then as you can see, beautiful food that's growing behind you. I suppose a question that comes to mind a lot of the time is what drives me and why do I do what I do? I've also been homeless at one point in my life. You know, it was definitely something that was an eye-opener to find that when the lockdown actually happened, it was almost like all communities found themselves on the homeless spectrum. You know, not enough access to nutritional food, scared, lonely, isolated, no certainty of the future. The recovery grant was a saving grace for Edible London and could not have come at a more needed time. That money enabled Edible London to keep on crucial staff, to, to keep us putting out the amount of food that we were putting out and to offer the services that Edible London offer. Without that funding and without that staff, we would have surely scaled down our operations. You know, pre-COVID we were feeding about 200 people per week. When we expanded at maximum capacity, we reached 50,000 mils worth of ingredients being distributed a week. And thankfully, again, to the rank grant, you know, we are now sustainably distributing 25,000 mils worth of ingredients a week. Plus all of our growing spaces act as incubation spaces for all those that are affected by the mental implications of the lockdown and isolation. So I just want to say thank you being in a position where we're helping people and I'm hearing the feedback from them, to hear that they have never eaten such nutritious meals, even pre-pandemic, is beyond me. And in most grassroots organizations or charities, you know, one of the biggest struggles we have is finding enough volunteers to support the work we are doing. The lockdown changed all of that for Edible London. We had an armada of people that were willing under the banner of solidarity to come in and help us do the vital work we are doing. Over a million meals worth of ingredients were distributed within 10 months. And by no way was that done just by the core team of Edible London. 350 plus volunteers answered our call. So I have seen many, many positives come from this lockdown, come from this pandemic. It has united communities under a banner of solidarity. It has broken down the barriers of, of fear and trust. It has united people in this country like I have never ever seen before. I suppose my only hope is that when the world resumes to normal, we do not forget the masses of powerful, positive change we created together.